Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to part 48 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yes, we return today back again in the EKO Acropolis Rally Greece. This time around though, we're here in the WRC2 cars. Yes, the penultimate round of our WRC2 campaign. Things are still looking pretty good at the moment in the championship. We have a seven-point lead over Adrian Formo, but Oli Solberg and Lindholm are both closing in on the championship fight there. You could argue it's a four-way scrap, but that could very easily, you know, calm down by the end of the Acropolis rally. Of course, if you missed that on the video that went live on Friday, I would recommend going back and checking it out. Of course, got a little bit frustrated on that video um some of you actually said i should have checked the split times and you're absolutely right i probably should have um just to see if it was fully fully broken but we've only got one more regularity rally to do um so that'll go live later on next week but quickly as well before we get into this one, I just want to thank everyone because we've ticked over now 2,000 subscribers. It really, you know, about six months ago, kind of before EAWRC came out, I uploaded on this channel sporadically when I'd done a rally. Um, but I really do feel, you know, over sort of the last four months or so, I'm enjoying EAWRC so much. I'm enjoying doing rally content so much as well. So a massive thank you to all of you uh, for the continued support on the channel of course next up then of course has got to be 3k so if you are watching this you haven't already please do click that sub button as well then but yeah let's get in once again here to EKO Acropolis Rally Greece I want to try and finish this one and finish it nicely in the points so hopefully we can go into those final two rounds of the season sorry that final round of the season sorry in Japan with a little bit of a buffer before we get into that though I just want to thank today's video sponsor IMB Racewear. I get asked all the time why I use gloves for sim racing and truth be told it saves you a lot of money in the long run. Yes when you are using expensive steering wheels it is really important that you have a pair of gloves that can protect the wheel from your oily sweaty hands and IMB Racewear have got some of the best gloves on the market. Of course you can have the custom branded Mat 212 gloves or any other gloves off of their site. There'll be a link down in the description below and if you use that you massively help support the channel at no extra cost to yourself. Well here we are then back in Greece once more. Hopefully this one can run a little bit smoother than the rally did yesterday. I'd, I'd like to believe so. We should be in good stead as we head into this one. We've got, yeah, the first couple of stages we've got to be really careful on. Uh, and then we've got a slightly shorter one before a longer one. And then a nice, that, that final stage is actually a very, very fun blast as well then. But yeah, just staying out of trouble is going to be the key today. So we've just got to make sure that's exactly what we do. You can see third, first, second, second, and 15th uh, in Sector Rally Finland. We should have scored sort of four or six points there. Uh, that unfortunate mistake on the final stage really did haunt me. But goes to showcase, even on the rallies where I struggle uh, on paper a lot more, we have still got a fighting chance. One set mediums, one set hards. So I'm not going to worry about switching those up. We're going to try and get ourselves an extra set of mediums Stance. for the rest right. of the event. Good but yeah, this one could be championship defining Five, today, I feel. Four, three. Obviously, we are just on the shakedown, so we don't need to take any risks at the start of this one. Just make sure uh, that we are all good with the car underneath us. Um, yeah, like I said, I kind of want to believe I know a bit more about where I'm going on Eco Rally Greece. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of these stages a fair amount now. Weirdly, Rally Finland is one that doesn't crop up much, which you think is a pretty iconic rally. Um, so I kind of expect it to a lot more than it has on this game. Um, but, you know, we're kind of learning where we're going as well in that series, which, of course, is always good fun as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, some of you obviously were talking about on that video as well that went live Friday, uh, how apparently EAWRC could end up being a little bit like um, ACC in the sense of they kind of just continue building up the game for years, which would be rather cool to see. Um, and obviously, I wonder what we'd be able to do with it then, sort of down the line. You know, would we get yearly updates with it? Something like that. I don't know just yet. Uh, but either way, I'm hoping we're going to be playing these games 
for the long run, but Shakedown went pretty smoothly. Just to double check, services are end of stage two, end of stage three. So we're going to have to run the other set of mediums. No, oh, I reckon we run the hards through there and then run mediums again in the final two. Let's do this thing. Got to survive these first stages. Start their rally here, and they will be hoping to get this first stage under their belts comfortably to settle them in for the day. Well, I can't work out if that scratches on the paintwork or the actual paintwork. Uh, it must have been scratches on it. Um, so clearly, I should have repaired that before we got into this. It might not have even done it, for all I know. But of course, we've still got no benchmark as to what anyone else's times are going to be like. We haven't had that since round three. So we could be way off the pace. Fairly long first stage, though, with a lot of scary corners with big drops quite early on. So let's just try and survive, stay out of trouble, and hope that we are somewhere on the money, of course. You know, the big championship rival is still Formo, uh, but Solberg and Lincom, again, you know, they are not a million miles away, and it can very, very quickly change who is on top in this championship so far. It already has... On a couple of occasions, we kind of built up that lead uh, by virtue of those four podiums in a row. But I would certainly love to cross the 100-point barrier uh, by the end of this championship as well. Then, as oh, just trying to be very, very careful early on with the car. Don't want to make any big mistakes. Nice and easy through these first few bits. Come on. Oh, we went slightly quicker through that first sector than we did in Shakedown. Under a minute through there, I'm happy with. It is all about just keeping the car in the middle of the road around it. Oh, it's immediately. Oh, that's not what I did there. careful early on. I'm sorry, I'm not talking a lot, but yeah, if ever there's a rally you need to concentrate, it's this one, and especially around this section of road as well. There are a couple of really horrible corners, and that it is very easy just to throw it off the side and pick up terminal damage. Don't believe that one is one of them. I believe it's a little bit further around. Yeah, here we go. A square right just up here with nothing on the outside. Oh, ha oh, oh. This rally, yeah, is not easy. I think it's this corner as well. Yep. That one's horrible because you just fling it off the edge ever so slightly. Gravity does its thing and you are a goner. Oi. Easy. Easy. Rocks as well. As obviously Acropolis Rally is known for the rocks. So we want to be trying to avoid those at all costs. Must admit, though, it is... I mean, I'm sure I'm going to jinx myself by saying this early on. But when you do even get, like, half a sector or something like that, or half a stage that runs really well, it kind of... You know, all the hours I put into this game, it makes them seem all worth it pretty much in, an, in a heartbeat. You know, you just run through one of these stages nicely and it feels so, so nice. I said I was going to jinx it. <laughs> Almost did. Just gather it up. 
feel like I've got a lot of understeer in the Carlowin spots. Unfortunately, as some of you might realise, the way everything's mounted up on this rig, like obviously I can hold the handbrake at the start of a stage, uh, but then after that it's really difficult to actually turn breach down to. Not that I feel this game really needs too much handbrake usage anyway, you can kind of dial a car in off the throttle. Um, but it does just mean, yeah, there's a few instances where I really do feel like I'm losing a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, I can't really remount it, which is a real shame. It's Fanatec's weird handbrake mounting system, not the actual fault of the rig. Um, just because, of obviously, you need a sturdy mount for the uh, shifter, but the handbrake kind of hangs off the side of it, but an angle, so it just doesn't fit, really. Very odd design choice, but you know, still... It's not the end of the world, like I said. It's just in a few rare instances. It really does feel like it just hampers me. Oh, that corner's horrible. I never know how much I can attack through that. And then this bit is high speed, but very easy to mess it up. As I will just find a bit of a rock there. Oh, really throwing the car right up towards the limits. Oi! Up on two wheels. Hello. Oh, they skin scrappy. Come on, just gather it up. It's a long one through that. See what I mean there? You can normally induce the oversteer on the back. Just kind of whack in enough throttle. Or just really go for a Scandinavian flick as well. They do work very nicely on this game. This section's horrible. Lulls you in. But like you can get away, yeah, but just kind of really flicking the steering in and then pivoting off that. But of course, it's when you get that wrong, which I, ow, I think is what I struggle with in the rear wheel drives a lot more. Is obviously you can't really pivot them like that because they just try and look at where they've been. Are almost at the end of this stage though, just over a split to go. Doesn't feel like it's been a bad run. A couple of little mistakes here and there, but nothing that's cost me time up to this point. I'm not home and dry yet though. So just right, remember that corner. Try and leave it in second through there. Get the pull off. Feel the car grip up underneath. Oh, come on. Let's get to that finish line now. See, I love those little bits. There's something a little bit different in that area there that makes it feel very different. Something sounds off at the rear. I haven't hit anything though, I don't think. Unless it's just echoing off the side. But yeah, something sounds very off. Which is weird. Through find a couple of corners though. Oh, that's a lot of understeer. And up towards the finish line. It's going to be about 7.50 in the end then. I don't think that'll put us fastest at the board. I think it'll certainly have left us, you know, competitively paced, or I hope it has. If we're suddenly 20 seconds off, then I'm going to be really gutted with that, because it felt like a pretty clean and tidy run. We won't even run over a marshal at the end. That goes to show just how calm I'm feeling. Uh, and it's only good enough for seventh, though. But Lindholm and Solberg right at the top. For Mo, again, down in 12th place. He's really, really struggling towards the end of this season. Um, but yeah, we need to try and take time out of the Finn and the Swede. Right, come on then. Stage number two. We're just going back the way we came a minute ago. So we know roughly what time we've got to be aiming for. Got the hammer. And let's go rallying once again then. Yeah, I mean, Lindholm and Solberg look like they're willing to throw it all on the line, though. I mean, they've got nothing to lose. If they want a shot at the championship, they've got to do that at this stage of the rally. But, yeah, for Formo and I, it's a lot more complicated. Say, unless we win this and Formo doesn't score, 
will be at least a two driver fight heading well, into that final rally that's not ideal um, but yeah I mean Lindholm has to beat me here if he wants any chance he's 24 back um, Solberg has got a little bit more room you know he can afford to finish second to Lindholm here or anything like that um, and he should still go into that fight as well but you know it's the horrible thing of how hard do we push here apparently the answer is very uh, based on how we're driving early on um, but yeah you know do we just push the limit do we leave a little bit on the table I think I'd rather well not convinced I'm driving like it but I think I'd rather not score points by being too slow um, the not score points by winning it somewhere. But, you know, it's so easy to bin it here. But one might happen sooner than the other. Come on, come on, come on. Already bonus lifting up, so we've definitely picked up some damage on this second stage. Oh, you don't get away with many of those. We've got to be more precise. We've got to keep this thing tidy. Focus. No, I'm not just naming Fords. Keep your foot in. Oh, <laughs> So that, I think genuinely, it's not a particularly big drop, but that can be terminal damage here. That's how close it is. That's how ridiculously narrow and how little room for error there is on this rally. That can be the deciding factor. We do not get away with many of those on this rally. Not many of those at all. But that might be the only one you get away with here, so we need to try and keep it out of trouble. So easy just to dip a wheel where you don't want it. So I think we've probably got to be aiming for like 740s if we want to be on the pace with Lindholm and Solberg here. An interesting split between softs, uh, sorry, mediums and hard tyres as well. So maybe those hards will have a bit more of an advantage in this second stage. But I want to be on the medium tyres more in this rally. Oh, I mean, it's literally just fine, fine, gone. Rally and potentially season over. I mean, imagine this as a season finale. Oh, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it was in Junior WRC, wasn't it? Did not get the Scandi flick in there early enough. Oh, there's still really bad corners. <sighs> but there is a lot of downhill now towards the end of this stage. So we should be fast. Easy, easy, easy. We have pushed hard on this stage, but we know there's a couple of them coming up that'll be really difficult with all the switchbacks. So, I mean, if we can claw a little bit of time back, fantastic. But I just want to survive this rally. Not the way I'm driving though at the moment, you wouldn't think it. Oh, this corner's horrible. As soon as you hear a one, you just want to match the break. I'm really leaning on the gears here, using that engine brake as much as possible. It's horrible ones, but you get those fives and then it leads into a three. Uh. 
They just sneak up on you, don't they? They really do. Dug in then. Out where I did that. These are some horrible corners. But we are not giving up. Just over one split to go. Don't make any mistakes now. It's been a solid run. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I mean, maybe that tree scrubbed off some speed before I hit somewhere worse. At the moment, it looks like we're pretty much on pace to set a similar time to what we did in. First run. Come on. Oh, stop hitting stuff. Way nice wide open hairpin in there. Put on a show. We won for the cameras. Oh, this section is so horrible. It's horrible, because if you dig the car in the inside there, like I had, you've kind of just got to leave it in there, otherwise it'll bounce up on the exit and just throw you towards the other side. Right, come on, that's the finish, though. I don't think we've been perfect through that, but we have been quicker. 7.45 in the end, and a lot of bravery. Well, as we cross the finish line, we'll get a little bit of damage as well, but I'm happy we went for the spin after the finish there. Little mistake on that stage. Cost me a few seconds. But are we closer to the money at all? Very nicely uh. driven through that stage. It's a great result for the crew who, as a result, have moved up in the event standings. Well, looks like Lindholm has ran into issues, though. Down in 11th place there. Uh, could have been a lot worse, but could have been better. We were two seconds slower than Formo, but 13 slower than Ollie Solberg. So we're still inside that top 10 at the moment. Uh, Lindholm is down to sixth, though. Solberg now leading the way by two seconds over Sunanen. Uh, but yeah, I think we've just got to try and keep Formo at bay. A bit of a gamble in the service, and it is not... Why am I looking at someone's Start bottom? Right um, it has not paid off for me. We have lost another ten seconds Five, there, four, because the damage three, was just a few seconds two, over service one. limit. Go. But two, let's see what we can do then on three, this next two, stage. Three, I believe this is the one we had to do yesterday, or sorry, Friday even in the regularity rally um so hopefully we know where we're going we've done it on lower speed but yeah that 10 second penalty really hope that doesn't come back to haunt me whoa by the end of this but yeah this is a horrible stage and i mean a horrible stage it's a lot of hairpins it's very slow it should be a lot better in this than that um but yeah we've got to bring on our a game we have opted for the hards as well. That's important to note. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have mediums for those final couple of stages, which are shorter than the first two were. Felt like we'd started to lose a bit of grip on the softs. Right, sorry, the mediums even at the end of that last one, but nothing that I'm not going to worry about too much. Oh, there are some horrible corners around here. That guardrail as well. I've got no idea why that ends so early. Slight left of the crest, 30, break, 6 right, 6 left. Where do I need to break here? Oh, I'm not going to regret saying that. 30, 2 right, long, 30. Ooh, oh, Nick the inside rock there, but we had to carry the rotation oh, through. Oh, that was so close to slapping a rock as well on the outside. Important to note, for this stage, I have not taken a spare tyre. Stay on the road, stay on the road, stay on the road. I thought we'll save the 20 kilos. We'll try and just keep it tidy. 
And I mean, yeah, surely on a little stage like this, the minute and a half penalty, it's going to ruin it all anyway. I mean, I think it's the problem that we've got now, isn't it, on this game is a one and a half minute penalty anywhere is basically going to ruin your rally. So it's kind of like, what's the point in taking it? Obviously the 20 kilos. You don't notice it a lot, but you certainly notice it on some stages. It is well worth having, and I thought the extra maneuverability here will be well worth it. Slide that car around, pivot. Oh, stay out the rocks, stay out the rocks. So many horrible corners. Good job, I didn't try and trim that a little bit more. Look at that, it is, who leaves all these rocks here? know why this is the real car killer. It's in Safari Rally Kenya, but... Come on! Stay out of trouble. Come on! We're barely halfway there. But I know the final split of this is a lot easier. So much steering off on the way into these corners. You really have got to do it, though. I feel like you're literally tearing the fronts apart, but it's needed. Don't get caught over those. They will scrub off speed in the car. And basically, in your run. Oh, that's a one. For some reason, I had in my head that that was a two, then. Just suddenly spotted it at the very last moment. Use the rocks there to give it the front through. Swing the car around. In corner, go. Point, shoot, steer. Well, point, steer, shoot, really, I should say. Oh, big rock. Got away with it. More big rocks. I mean, there's just big rocks everywhere, isn't there? I think we're almost the fast right. bit though. Oh, come on. Yep, little fast blast. And we got about three or four hairpins, I think, to the end. Hairpins up there. Is one of the good things about doing those regularity rallies is, you know then, what you're aiming for. Because I think before then, I always thought that hairpin came up a little bit sooner, but almost at the finish. Got to be careful. Final corner's lethal here. Oh, ah. oh, no, 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 no. That's fine. Oh, that's so annoying. Can't go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's so annoying. That that run up to that point had felt so good. So good. But I'll have to wait and see if anyone else has made any errors. It's up until the final corner we go. It wasn't even the corner I was worried about that I binned it on. A three will go five minute flat. I feel like there'll have been some AI that went quicker through there, but that'll have to do for me. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Should have been quicker. Shouldn't have made that error. It's cost a few seconds, but it's not the end of the world. We're still in this fight. I want to score some points. Oh, that's a shame. Despite their best efforts through this stage, this crew have dropped in the event standings. Well, we probably lost, what, a good five, six seconds from that. But clearly, we just did not have the pace on that stage. Unfortunately, Lindholm, Solberg and Formo did. So the bigger picture then, two stages to go. We're now, what, 15 seconds outside of points. That is not good. Obviously, we got the 10-second penalty as well, didn't we? Um, but we are going to need to smash these final two stages. I'm also hoping Sunanen can beat Solberg here. Or Lindholm. Someone needs to beat Solberg. Otherwise, he's going to suddenly take the lead of the championship. Crew overran and look to be receiving a time penalty. They have to balance that service time better or will suffer more penalties down the road. Well, we haven't taken another penalty here. Just to Start clarify, that was just from the first service. Uh, but the car is good to go. Two stages to go. Five, Medium's four, back on. No three, spare tyre. We have got to go for it. Go. We don't... Well, I mean, I'm not confident on that final stage, I don't think. So this one has kind of got to be the difference maker. Although, saying that... Oh, no. So we're doing stage one again with, I believe, them 
the extension. So basically the last stage we just did reverse. So we know where we're going here. We know what kind of pace we're going to be aiming for. And let's go smash it. Right, come on. We nailed this foot. Well, say we were a little way off the pace, but it's actually been my closest one so far in terms of pace. So let's go try and get ourselves a dub on the board. That's what I want. It's a long old stage, so I tell you what. Nice little random dust cloud. But we've also got to make sure we look after the car ready for that final one as well. Don't think I'm going to score Wolf Power stage points here. If it's the final stage, I think it is. We are not competitive there, so we can't rely on those. What we can rely on, though, is hopefully Solberg having an issue. Been in Sweden. That was the one that really meant he's been clawing all the way back ever since. So, yes, yeah, Solberg, he's not out of this fight, but he's certainly further down the order. I mean, he could easily be leaving this thing. Had he not been in Sweden, I think we would have beat him there. But he was looking pretty on set for P2. Yeah, we are pushing. We know where we're going at the moment. So we are really going for it. I want to try and make sure at least that we're in the fight for that, for those points. I would love to try and get a top 10 here. Before the final round, you know, even if it's a point or two, it can make all the difference come the finale. It doesn't help as well, of course, we're always still the first car going on these runs, with the exception of that Wolf Power stage. So we never quite know what we're aiming for. Did we actually, on that last stage, only lose five seconds? But it was because, obviously, of the ten-second penalty. That might be why the gap looks worse than it was. Actually, I don't think so. Because we only lost a good, like, 13 seconds on the stage before, didn't we? I think we were just that mistake really did cost me. As mistakes will always continue to cost me if I keep making them. We gather that one up, though. Oh, avoid those rocks. Come on. Hey. No, 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 no. Well, that rock saved me. That time around, we were saved. Oh, we got lucky there. We really gambled that. Trying to cut as much off it as we could. Oh. Oh. Ow. No. I don't even know how long this stage should take us. Less time than it did going through there. Could have sat there and had a tea party in the time the car gripped up and we got off that corner. So difficult. I mean, we are just swinging this thing round on the rear. to mash the brake then just to make sure we didn't bounce. Otherwise that could have been really bad. Oh, 
arrows into four right, tightens into five left, opens 80. Just never know what those brakes can do. Oh, sorry, what those rocks can do, even. I don't know why I was on about the brakes. Oh. Apparently, we're trimming that, are we? That was close. But we kind of had to bounce off that bank. Otherwise, you get stuck up there. It costs you plenty of time. Come on. Dip it in. This thing clean, ready for the wolf power stage. None of it's damaged any of the internals so far, but it's not ideal. Well, all it does mean is that the car's weaker, so any more hits will damage the internals, which is not good. I'm sorry the commentary must be so bad on this rally, but we are pushing so hard to try and make the difference. Oi! Damn it, man. Oh, we lost it all. Got it round, though. Definitely lost a bit of time there. So frustrating. You feel like you're doing so well for the most part, but just those little mistakes that you know the AI won't make. And at the moment, I still just feel like I'm keeping up rather than beating them. Nose him. Nose him. Come on. Gotta be better than that. All these rocks. We are. I mean, this feels like a Dakar at the moment. But that is pretty much the closest comparison to the Acropolis Rally. Oh, come on, this poor little Skoda. I'm so sorry. At the only time we'll touch fifth gear here. He said don't cut, and I almost did. Oh, no. No. Oh, I thought it was going to be terminal then. Go, 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 go. Come on. Pull, little car. Yeah, we are. I think definitely out of it. Way too many mistakes. Given how much you'll lose round here as well. So annoying. Oh, let's not give up, though. Let's try and put on a good show to the finish. All it takes is a couple of mistakes for others, and we can still snatch a point or two. But I was really hoping we'd go into the final round with an advantage. I mean, if it hadn't have been for Form O having the issues last time, I didn't think we'd win this rally, to be honest. But Adrian Form O seems to have slowed down in the last couple of events after taking two wins on the bounce. And, well, we've been able to use that. So bounce and off the wall. Right and 
Oh, that's true. Left. And to right opens. It's giving me a full proper shoulder workout, this. Acute turn in right. And square left. 40. So horrible through those corners where you just sat there. Head Can't do anything. 50. Uh. Turn acute turn in right. And one left. I mean, these are just horrible. They're worse Head this way around right. than the other way. Oh. That's not good. Okay. Oh no! Come on, just get to the flag, get to the flag. One more stage to go, and then we'll know what we're looking like heading into the final rally. Easily, easily another 15 seconds on that one. Should have been around the 10.50 mark, and we'll see whether that would have been good enough to put us somewhere way more competitive, but I'm so annoyed with that. You just feel like you get in the groove, and it all just gets away from you. This crew have yeah. settled nicely into their rhythm now, setting another solid time on this stage and holding their position in this event. Well, holding a rhythm is pretty pointless when we're down in 16th place there, but Solberg is just building up the time over Lindholm and Sunin, and he looks dead set to take victory here in the penultimate rally of the season then. For Mo, I think, is still around the end of the points table, but we need 17 seconds over Eric Kass here in this final stage. We're going to go for it, but I'm not really holding my breath anymore. Right, well, we have got Oli Solberg now as a benchmark. Um, but yeah, this final stage, I'm not too uh, not too confident over. If I could snooker away a couple of power stage points, I would take it, but I'm certainly not holding my breath here. Really? Really? Right, well, yeah, there we go. Driving through this section, this pairing will be happy with that as they maintain their current event standing. And I binned it immediately. May be in jeopardy. It's a big accident, and it will be a real effort to get this car going again. Well, I mean, looking at the times in the end, yeah, uh, Solberg has won the rally over Lindholm there, so that's really annoying for us. But I think honestly, we just got to put that behind us. I don't think it's cost us any points. I don't think we would have scored points on this final stage. It is a brutal, brutal one there. But I don't believe Formo has scored either. So that might give us a little bit of a helping hand in the end. And while I probably should be a lot more gutted with that result, I think, yeah, it is what it is. We should have scored points here. We should have scored points last time out in Finland as well. Um, but we've just got to try and get to the end of the season now. You can see Solbo picks up 28 points ahead of Sunanen. And Rossell. So that means with one round to go of the championship, we are still in that P2 spot. Five points clear of Formo, ten points clear of Lintom here. But we just want to try and beat Solberg. I think it's all we can hope for. You know, if we can win that rally and he doesn't finish second, then we've got a good chance. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed, and we'll be back very soon with more EAWRC content.